Welcome to the Heartbeat Chronicles, the podcast that delves into the intricate dynamic of love, sex, relationships, lifestyle, journaling, the world of counseling and therapy, and the messy in between. Get ready to explore the various aspects of life's heartbeat and discover insightful conversations that resonate with you on a personal level. In today's episode, I am answering some of your dilemmas and reading through some of your thoughts from a few of our engaging content. This is our fourth Q&A section of Hey Soulful Riley. Hey there, Soulful Ambassadors. Get ready to embark on another whimsical adventure with me, your host, Riley Mitchell of the Heartbeat Chronicles. You know, where every beat tells a story, and trust me, they're always full of unexpected twists and turns. But wait, hold on a sec. Before we dive into our wacky escapades, let's take a moment to welcome our lovely new Soulful Ambassadors. Yes, you, my friend, who's watching or listening to us for the very first time. Congratulations! You are now officially a soulful ambassador and there's no turning back. Consider yourself warned. Now let's talk about a timely event that's just around the corner, Easter. That's right, folks. It's that glorious time of year when chocolate bunnies hop around, eggs are dyed in every color imaginable, and we all indulge in copious amounts of delicious food. And speaking of food, I've got a special recommendation for all you foodie enthusiasts out there. Picture this. You're flipping through the Amazon jungle, navigating through the treacherous sea of online shopping, when suddenly you stumble upon a hidden gem. It's called Safari of Flavors, Easter Recipes from Kenya. Oh boy, oh boy, you're in for a treat. This recipe book is like a culinary Easter egg hunt, filled to the brim with tantalizing dishes that will transport your taste buds on an exotic adventure. But wait, don't grab your safari hat just yet. Before you go chasing after this book, head on over to our Instagram handle at heartbeat underscore chronicles or at underscore soulful underscore Riley. There, you'll find the golden link that will lead you straight to the land of flavors. Trust me, folks, it's worth every click and swipe. Now let's talk about Easter itself. Ah, the sound of church bells and the sight of kids frantically scouring the backyard for hidden treasures. It truly is a magical time, isn't it? But let's not forget the real meaning behind this holiday. It's all about new beginnings and celebrating the resurrection of chocolate, right? Well, close enough. So, my dear soulful ambassadors, I want to take this moment to wish each and every one of you the absolute best Easter holiday ever. May your Good Friday be filled with extra chocolate, your Easter Sunday be full of joy, and your Easter Monday be a day to relax and recover from the sugar-induced coma you'll inevitably find yourselves in. Remember, folks, life is like an Easter egg. You never know what delightful surprises await inside. And with that, my dear soulful ambassadors, stay tuned, stay soulful, and most importantly, stay funnier than a bunny doing the foxtrot. Keep those beats grooving. Question one. Hey, Soulful Riley, I am 30 and am struggling to make friends. Can you advise on some tips to make and sustain new friends? Hey, Soulful Ambassador. Making friends can be a bit challenging, especially as we grow older. But don't worry, it's absolutely possible to make new connections and build meaningful friendships. Here are a few tips that might come in handy. Firstly, pursue your interests. Joining clubs, groups, or classes related to your hobbies or interests is a fantastic way to meet people who share your passions and values. Whether it's a book club, a hiking group, or a cooking class, being around like-minded individuals can create a strong foundation for new friendships. Next, be open and approachable. It may sound simple, but a smile and some eye contact can go a long way in making others feel comfortable approaching you. Don't be afraid to start conversations with new people and show genuine interest in their lives. Sometimes just being friendly and approachable can open doors to unexpected friendships. Another tip is to attend social events. Even if you feel a bit out of your comfort zone initially, accepting invitations to social gatherings or events can provide valuable opportunities to meet new people. It could be a party, a networking event, or a community gathering. Remember, stepping out of your comfort zone is often the first step towards making new friends. Volunteering is not only a great way to give back to your community, but also an excellent way to meet like-minded individuals who are passionate about similar causes. Whether you choose to volunteer at a local shelter, a charity event, or a community project, you'll be surrounded by people who share your values and interests. Plus, working together towards a common goal can create deep and lasting connections. When you're trying to make new friends, it's important to be authentic. Be true to yourself. 
Don't try to be someone you're not or pretend to have interests that you don't genuinely share. Authenticity attracts genuine connections, and building friendships based on shared values and interests will lead to more fulfilling relationships in the long run. Once you've met someone you click with, make an effort to nurture the relationship. Building connections requires effort from both sides, so don't be afraid to reach out to them regularly, make plans to hang out, and show genuine interest in their lives. Remember that friendships, just like any other relationship, require time and effort to grow and flourish. So be patient with yourself and the process of making new friends. Building meaningful friendships doesn't happen overnight, and it's okay to take your time. Embrace the journey of meeting new people, learning from different experiences, and embracing the connections that bring joy and fulfillment to your life. Remember, you've got this. Making friends might be challenging at times, but with the right mindset, a little bit of effort, and a sprinkle of authenticity, you'll be well on your way to building amazing friendships that enrich your life. So go out there, pursue your interests, be open and approachable, attend social events, volunteer, be authentic, nurture relationships, and enjoy the beautiful bonds that friendship brings. Question two. Hey, Soulful Riley, I am emotionally disconnected from my boyfriend and I don't know what to do. Any advice you can give me? Hey there, Soulful Ambassador. I'm really sorry to hear that you're feeling emotionally disconnected from your boyfriend. That's definitely not a great place to be in a relationship. But hey, I've got a few suggestions for you on how to tackle this situation and hopefully find that emotional connection again. First and foremost, communication is key. It might sound cliche, but believe me, open and honest communication can work wonders. It's essential to sit down and have a heartfelt conversation with your boyfriend. Express your thoughts, let him know how you're feeling, and most importantly, listen to his perspective too. It's important to create a safe space where both of you can voice your concerns and emotions. During this conversation, it could be helpful to explore what might be causing this emotional disconnection. Maybe there has been a breakdown in communication or some unresolved issues that need addressing. Take the time to understand each other's needs and expectations. This understanding can go a long way in finding a solution. Brainstorm together. Once you've identified the potential causes, brainstorm some ideas on how to reconnect emotionally. Be open-minded and willing to compromise. Remember that relationships are a two-way street, and it takes effort from both partners to maintain that emotional bond. So work together as a team and find activities, experiences, or rituals that can reignite that spark. However, it's important to note that relationships aren't always easy, and sometimes you might need additional support. Don't hesitate to reach out to trusted friends or family members for advice or guidance. They can offer a different perspective or lend a listening ear when you need it most. Sometimes an outside perspective can shed light on the situation and provide valuable insights. If the disconnection persists or becomes overwhelming, consider seeking help from a professional. Relationship counselors or therapists are trained to navigate complex emotional situations and can provide guidance tailored to your specific needs. They can help you both work through any underlying issues and teach you effective communication techniques that will strengthen your relationship. Remember, it's okay to ask for help when you need it. Seeking professional support doesn't mean your relationship is failing. It actually shows your commitment to making things work. In the end, finding that emotional connection again will require effort and dedication from both sides. Be patient with yourselves and with each other. Rome wasn't built in a day, they say, and the same applies to relationships. Take small steps, celebrate the progress you make, and don't forget to express love and appreciation for each other along the way. Lastly, don't forget to take care of yourself too. Emotional disconnection can be draining, so make sure you prioritize self-care. Engage in activities that bring you joy, practice mindfulness or relaxation techniques, and surround yourself with positivity. When you feel healthy and content within yourself, it can positively impact your relationship as well. So, Soulful Ambassador, I hope these suggestions help you navigate through this emotional disconnection with your boyfriend. Remember, open communication, understanding, and seeking support when needed are the keys to finding that emotional bond again. Wishing you the best of luck on this journey of reconnection. Oh, the topic of love at first sight and loving more than one person at the same time. It's always a fascinating and debated subject. Let's dive right into it. One of the soulful ambassadors shared her experience of loving more than one person. She mentioned that while she can love more than one person, 
there will always be one person whom she loves more than the others. It's an interesting perspective. She has two boyfriends and loves them both, but there's a distinction in the intensity of her love for each of them. I find it intriguing that she can experience such complex emotions and still maintain relationships with both. It opens up the question of whether it's possible to have romantic feelings for multiple people simultaneously. If you have any thoughts on this, feel free to engage with us on our Instagram handle at heartbeat underscore chronicles or underscore soulful underscore Riley. Another soulful ambassador shared her thoughts on love at first sight. She believes that it can be a complex and nuanced concept, especially in today's fast paced and digitally driven world. Some may argue that it's unrealistic or outdated, but others still hold on to the belief in its magic and potential. Personally, she thinks it's essential to approach the idea with a healthy dose of skepticism while remaining open to the possibility of deep connections that can develop over time. Love is multifaceted, and what matters most is the authenticity and depth of the connection, whether it happens instantly or evolves gradually. Let's embrace the diversity of experiences and perspectives when it comes to matters of the heart. On the other hand, another soulful ambassador strongly believes in the reality of love at first sight. In this generation, she thinks it can and does happen. While it may not happen for everyone, she has personally experienced that instant connection with someone that feels like destiny. It's like being drawn to each other from the moment you meet, and everything just clicks into place. Of course, she emphasizes the importance of taking the time to get to know the person and ensure it's not just infatuation. But she believes that when it's real, you can feel it deep in your soul. It's a beautiful perspective. And it reminds us that love can have a powerful and immediate impact on our lives. Yet another soulful ambassador believes that love knows no limits. It's entirely possible to love more than one person at the same time. Each relationship brings its unique connection and enriches our lives in different ways. Instead of placing restrictions on our capacity to love, she encourages us to celebrate the beauty of expansive love and the richness it adds to our lives it's an open-minded view that challenges the conventional notions of monogamous relationships and invites us to think outside the box when it comes to matters of the heart. Now let's look at the perspective of a soulful ambassador who struggles to understand the idea of loving more than one person at the same time. For her, love is about giving your all to one person, building a deep connection, and committing to that relationship wholeheartedly. Loving multiple people simultaneously feels like diluting the depth and intimacy that love should entail. It's a moral issue for her, as she believes in the importance of loyalty and devotion in a relationship. Her perspective reminds us that individuals have different values and beliefs when it comes to love. So, where do I stand on this age-old debate? Well, from my perspective, I believe it's a bit of both a myth and a reality. Let me explain. While some may argue that true love requires time to develop and grow, there are instances like mine, where you just click with someone instantly. When I met my boyfriend, it felt like we had known each other for ages. We shared similar interests, had great chemistry, and just clicked right from the start. So yeah, in my case, I'd say it was love at first sight or something pretty darn close to it. However, I also understand the perspective of those who believe in developing love over time. It's true that deep connections and meaningful relationships often require a certain amount of time and effort. After all, love isn't just about initial attraction. It's about building trust, understanding, and a strong emotional bond. So while love at first sight can be a real and intense experience for some, it may not be the case for everyone. When it comes to loving more than one person at the same time, I resonate more with the soulful ambassador who believes in giving her full attention and devotion to one person at a time. For me, it's about respecting their feelings and not playing games with emotions. Juggling multiple romantic connections feels like it would inevitably lead to someone getting hurt, and that's something I'm not willing to risk. One man at a time is more than enough for me. In the end, love is a deeply personal and subjective experience. It's influenced by our values, beliefs, and unique circumstances. Some may resonate with the idea of love at first sight, while others may find it hard to grasp. Similarly, some may thrive in polyamorous relationships while others may prefer monogamy. What matters most is that we respect and appreciate the diverse perspectives on love and relationships. After all, 
Love is a beautiful and complex tapestry that weaves itself differently for each and every one of us. However, I also understand the perspective of those who believe in developing love over time. It's true that deep connections and meaningful relationships often require a certain amount of time and effort. After all, love isn't just about initial attraction. It's about building trust, understanding, and a strong emotional bond. So while love at first sight can be a real and intense experience for some, it may not be the case for everyone. When it comes to loving more than one person at the same time, I resonate more with the soulful ambassador who believes in giving her full attention and devotion to one person at a time. For me, it's about respecting their feelings and not playing games with emotions. Juggling multiple romantic connections feels like it would inevitably lead to someone getting hurt, and that's something I'm not willing to risk. One man at a time is more than enough for me. In the end, love is a deeply personal and subjective experience. It's influenced by our values, beliefs, and unique circumstances. Some may resonate with the idea of love at first sight, while others may find it hard to grasp. Similarly, some may thrive in polyamorous relationships, while others may prefer monogamy. What matters most is that we respect and appreciate the diverse perspectives on love and relationships. After all, love is a beautiful and complex tapestry that weaves itself differently for each and every one of us. Question three. Hey, Soulful Riley, how do you create a vision board for the manifestation of your dreams? Hey, Soulful Ambassador, creating a vision board for manifesting your dreams is such an exciting journey. It's a visual representation of your goals and aspirations, and it can serve as a powerful tool to remind you of what you're working towards. So let's dive into the steps on how to create an inspiring vision board. First things first, take some time to reflect on your dreams. Think about what you want to achieve in different areas of your life. It could be career goals, relationships, health, personal growth, or anything else that speaks to your soul. This is your chance to dream big and envision the life you truly desire. Once you have a clear idea of your dreams and aspirations, it's time to gather materials for your vision board. Collect magazines, newspapers, photos, quotes, and any other materials that resonate with your goals. Look for images or words that evoke the emotions and feelings associated with your dreams. The key is to choose visuals that truly speak to your heart. Now it's time to choose a theme for your vision board. Ask yourself what overarching theme aligns with your dreams and intentions. It could be something like abundance or growth and transformation. This theme will help bring cohesiveness to your vision board and make it even more powerful. Let your creativity flow as you arrange your materials on a board or canvas. Experiment with different layouts and combinations until it feels visually appealing and inspiring to you. You can add colors, drawings, and other personal touches that speak to your unique style and taste. This is your chance to create something beautiful and meaningful. Remember, your vision board is not just a collection of images and words. It's a representation of your dreams and aspirations. So, take a moment to visualize yourself achieving those goals. Spend time looking at your vision board regularly and immerse yourself in the emotions associated with your dreams. Feel as if those dreams have already come true and let those positive feelings radiate through you. But creating a vision board is not the end of the journey. It's just the beginning. Your vision board should serve as a source of motivation to take action towards your dreams. Use it as a reminder of what you're working towards and stay focused and determined. The universe will support you along the way, but it's important to remember that you also need to put in the effort and take actionable steps towards your goals. So let your vision board inspire you to take practical steps towards manifesting your dreams. Break down your goals into smaller, achievable tasks and create an action plan. Remember, every small step counts, and it's through consistent action that you'll bring your dreams into reality. Believe in the magic of your dreams coming true. Trust that the universe is working in your favor and that everything you need will be provided to you. When you have faith in the process, you'll attract opportunities and resources that align with your desires. Creating a vision board is a fun and creative way to connect with your dreams. It serves as a constant reminder of what you're working towards and can help you stay motivated and focused. So enjoy the process and have fun with it. Don't be afraid to dream big and let your imagination run wild. Remember, your vision board is a visual representation of your desires, so make it as vibrant and inspiring as possible. 
Fill it with images and words that ignite your passion and fill your heart with joy. Trust in the power of manifestation and know that with dedication and belief, you can bring your dreams to life. So go ahead and embark on this exciting manifestation journey. Create your vision board and let it serve as a daily reminder of your dreams and aspirations. Take action, stay focused, and trust in the magic of your dreams coming true. Best of luck on your manifestation journey. May all your dreams become a beautiful reality. Question four. Hey, Soulful Riley, on episode 12 about thriving solo, what are some common challenges solo individuals face in the digital age and how can I overcome them? Hey there, Soulful Ambassador. I love that you're asking about the challenges of solo living in the digital age. It's definitely a topic that many people can relate to. So let's dive right in. One of the main hurdles you might encounter when living solo in this digital era is feeling isolated or disconnected. Spending a lot of time online can sometimes make you feel like you're missing out on real human connections. Luckily, there are ways to overcome this. One effective strategy is to actively engage with online communities or social groups that align with your interests. By participating in discussions or activities within these communities, you can establish connections and feel a sense of belonging. Another important challenge to address is finding a healthy balance between your online and offline activities. It's incredibly easy to get consumed by the digital world, but it's crucial for your well-being to take breaks and prioritize real-life interactions. Creating boundaries for yourself is key. Consider setting specific times throughout the day for screen-free activities, like taking a walk, reading a book, or trying out a new hobby. Additionally, implementing a digital detox day once a week can help you disconnect from the online world and reconnect with yourself and your surroundings. Navigating privacy and security concerns is another common challenge we face in the digital realm. With technology constantly evolving, it's important to take steps to protect your personal information. Start by using strong passwords for your online accounts and enabling two-factor authentication whenever possible. Remember to be cautious when sharing sensitive details on social media platforms, as oversharing can leave you vulnerable to online risks. Taking these precautions will help safeguard your privacy and keep your digital presence secure. It's crucial to remember that you're not alone in this journey of solo living in the digital age. Reaching out for support when needed is key to thriving. Don't hesitate to connect with your friends or family members for virtual hangouts or chats. Not only will this alleviate feelings of isolation, but it will also strengthen your relationships. Remember, everyone goes through similar challenges, so sharing your experiences and seeking advice from others can be incredibly helpful. So there you have it. Solo living in the digital age can present its fair share of challenges, but by staying mindful of them and implementing strategies to address them, you can absolutely thrive. Just remember to actively engage with online communities, find a healthy balance between your online and offline activities, and take steps to protect your privacy and security. And most importantly, don't forget to reach out for support when needed. You've got this. Take care. Question five. Hey, Soulful Riley, what role does self-care play in navigating solo living in the digital age? And do you have any self-care tips for solo individuals? Hey there, Soulful Ambassador. Self-care is super important, especially when you're navigating solo living in today's digital age. It's all about making sure you prioritize your well-being and take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, and physically. One self-care tip that I really want to emphasize is establishing a daily routine that includes activities that bring you joy and help you relax. Seriously, it can make such a difference. Whether it's going on a nice walk in nature, practicing mindfulness or meditation, indulging in a hobby, or simply unplugging from technology to have some quiet time, carving out those moments for yourself is absolutely key. But here's the thing. Don't underestimate the power of connection, even if you're living alone. Surrounding yourself with supportive friends and family is so important. Even if you can't physically be with them, technology allows us to stay connected like never before. So why not join online communities or social groups that align with your interests? Not only can you meet new people and expand your network, but you can also find support and valuable connections in these spaces. And don't forget, it's totally okay to reach out for support when you need it. We all have our moments where we could use a helping hand, and there's no shame in asking for it. 
whether it's seeking advice, venting about a rough day, or just wanting someone to talk to, reaching out to your friends, family, or even a therapist can offer that much needed support system. Remember, self-care looks different for everyone. What works for one person may not work for another, and that's perfectly okay. The important thing is to find what makes you feel good and prioritize it consistently. Taking care of yourself allows you to show up fully in all aspects of your life, including solo living in the digital age. So let's recap. First and foremost, create a daily routine that includes activities that bring you joy and help you relax. This could be anything from going for a walk, practicing mindfulness, indulging in a hobby, or taking a break from technology. Next, make sure you surround yourself with supportive friends and family. Even in a solo living situation, connections are important. Join online communities or social groups that align with your interests, and don't hesitate to reach out for support when you need it. And finally, remember that self-care is personal, so find what works best for you and make it a priority in your life. Take care of yourself and remember, you're doing great. Question six. Hey, Soulful Riley, can you share more tips on how to build a supportive network of friends and communities in the digital world? Building a supportive network in the digital world is crucial, especially when you're living on your own. The good news is that there are plenty of ways to connect with like-minded individuals and foster meaningful relationships online. Let me share some tips with you on how to do just that. First and foremost, joining online communities is a great way to start. Look for forums, social media groups, and virtual communities that align with your interests and values. Engage with others, contribute to discussions, and be a part of the community. This will help you build connections with like-minded individuals and expand your network. Another way to connect with people is by attending virtual events. Participate in webinars, workshops, and virtual meetups that are relevant to your hobbies, passions, or professional interests. These events provide opportunities to interact with others, learn from their experiences, and potentially form lasting connections. Don't underestimate the power of social media. Utilize platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn to actively engage with your networks. Comment on posts, share interesting content, and initiate conversations. Connect with individuals who share similar interests or backgrounds. Building connections through social media can often lead to valuable relationships, both online and offline. Volunteering virtually is also an excellent way to meet people with similar interests. Explore virtual volunteering opportunities where you can contribute your skills and time to causes you care about. Not only will you be making a positive impact, but you'll also have the chance to connect with others who share your philanthropic interests. Consider enrolling in online classes or courses related to your interests or career goals. Interacting with classmates and instructors virtually can lead to meaningful connections and friendships. Use the discussion boards and online platforms provided by these courses to engage with others and expand your network. When interacting with others online, it's important to be authentic and genuine. Share your thoughts, experiences, and passions openly. Be yourself and show genuine interest in others. Listening actively and responding thoughtfully will help cultivate deeper connections with the people you interact with. Additionally, look out for virtual networking events or social gatherings that are tailored to your industry or interests. These events provide great opportunities to meet new people, exchange ideas, and form professional connections. It's a chance to expand your network and learn from others in your field. Building relationships in the digital world requires consistent effort and engagement. Stay active in your online communities, respond promptly to messages, and show genuine interest in others. This will help nurture lasting connections and ensure that your network continues to grow and thrive. By implementing these tips, you can effectively build a supportive network of friends and communities in the digital world. It will enrich your solo living experience and provide you with a sense of belonging and support. So go ahead, embark on this journey of virtual connection and see how it can positively impact your life. Question 7. Hey, Soulful Riley, how can I differentiate between genuine compliments and flattery when communicating with men? Building a supportive network in the digital world is crucial, especially when you're living on your own. The good news is that there are plenty of ways to connect with like-minded individuals and foster meaningful relationships online. Let me share some tips with you on how to do just that. First and foremost, joining online communities is a great way to start. Look for forums, social media groups, 
and virtual communities that align with your interests and values. Engage with others, contribute to discussions, and be a part of the community. This will help you build connections with like-minded individuals and expand your network. Another way to connect with people is by attending virtual events. Participate in webinars, workshops, and virtual meetups that are relevant to your hobbies, passions, or professional interests. These events provide opportunities to interact with others, learn from their experiences, and potentially form lasting connections. Don't underestimate the power of social media. Utilize platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn to actively engage with your networks. Comment on posts, share interesting content, and initiate conversations. Connect with individuals who share similar interests or backgrounds. Building connections through social media can often lead to valuable relationships, both online and offline. Volunteering virtually is also an excellent way to meet people with similar interests. Explore virtual volunteering opportunities where you can contribute your skills and time to causes you care about. Not only will you be making a positive impact, but you'll also have the chance to connect with others who share your philanthropic interests. Consider enrolling in online classes or courses related to your interests or career goals. Interacting with classmates and instructors virtually can lead to meaningful connections and friendships. Use the discussion boards and online platforms provided by these courses to engage with others and expand your network. When interacting with others online, it's important to be authentic and genuine. Share your thoughts, experiences, and passions openly. Be yourself and show genuine interest in others. Listening actively and responding thoughtfully will help cultivate deeper connections with the people you interact with. Additionally, look out for virtual networking events or social gatherings that are tailored to your industry or interests. These events provide great opportunities to meet new people, exchange ideas, and form professional connections. It's a chance to expand your network and learn from others in your field. Building relationships in the digital world requires consistent effort and engagement. Stay active in your online communities, respond promptly to messages, and show genuine interest in others. This will help nurture lasting connections and ensure that your network continues to grow and thrive. By implementing these tips, you can effectively build a supportive network of friends and communities in the digital world. It will enrich your solo living experience and provide you with a sense of belonging and support. So go ahead, embark on this journey of virtual connection and see how it can positively impact your life. Question seven. Hey, Soulful Riley, how can I differentiate between genuine compliments and flattery when communicating with men? Distinguishing between genuine compliments and flattery can sometimes be a bit tricky. You know, it's like trying to figure out if someone is being genuine or just trying to win you over. But don't worry, I've got some tips to help you out. First of all, let's talk about what makes a compliment genuine. Genuine compliments usually come from a place of sincerity and authenticity. When someone gives you a genuine compliment, it's because they genuinely appreciate something about you, whether it's a quality you possess or something you did. These compliments often come from the heart and are given without expecting anything in return. On the other hand, flattery is a whole different ballgame. Flattery tends to be more superficial and insincere. It's often motivated by ulterior motives like trying to gain favor or manipulate a situation. When someone is using flattery, it may feel excessive or overly flattering. There's often a lack of depth and genuine appreciation behind it. So how can you differentiate between the two? Well, one way is to pay close attention to the context and intention behind the compliment. Think about whether the compliment feels genuine and whether it aligns with your authentic self. Does it resonate with who you truly are? Trust your instincts here. They're usually spot on. Oh, and also observe how the person delivers compliments in other interactions. This can give you some clues about whether they're genuine or just flattery in disguise. Over time as you practice, you'll develop a better sense of discernment. You'll become more adept at identifying genuine compliments from flattery. It's like a superpower that you'll acquire. You'll be able to spot those genuine compliments from a mile away while also sniffing out the insincere ones. Remember, it's important to value compliments that uplift and resonate with you. Those are the ones that can truly brighten your day and make you feel good about yourself. Hold on to them and let them give you a confidence boost. But at the same time, it's crucial to be aware and cautious of those compliments that don't feel quite right. You know, the ones that feel disingenuous or manipulative. Learn to trust your gut and be mindful of the ulterior motives that may lurk behind certain compliments. 
So next time someone comes your way with a compliment, take a moment to assess its authenticity. Is it genuine or just flattery? Look for those indicators of sincerity and authenticity. Consider the context and intention. Does it align with who you truly are? And always remember to value compliments that uplift and resonate with you while staying cautious of those that feel disingenuous or manipulative. With a little practice, you'll become an expert at spotting the real deal. So go out into the world, accept those genuine compliments with open arms, and let yourself shine. Just remember to stay sharp and trust your instincts when dealing with flattery. You've got this. Question eight. Hey, Soulful Riley, in what ways can I incorporate active listening and validation into my conversations with my man to meet their emotional needs? Certainly. Incorporating active listening and validation into your conversations with your man can significantly enhance your relationship and meet his emotional needs. Here are some tips on how to do it effectively. Firstly, practice attentive listening. When engaging in a conversation with your partner, make an effort to focus on what he is saying without interrupting or formulating your response in your mind. Show genuine interest by maintaining eye contact, nodding, and using verbal cues like I see or go on to encourage him to share more. This shows that you value what he has to say and that you are fully present in the conversation. Secondly, reflect on his feelings. After your partner expresses himself, take the time to paraphrase or summarize what he has shared. This demonstrates that you are actively listening and that you understand his perspective. For example, you might say, it sounds like you're feeling frustrated because of your long work hours, or I can see why that situation made you feel anxious. This type of reflection validates his feelings, letting him know that you are paying attention to his emotional experience. Next, validate his emotions. It is important to acknowledge and validate your partner's feelings without judgment or criticism. Let him know that it is okay to feel the way he does and that you are there to support him. You can say, it's completely understandable that you're feeling upset about this, or your feelings are valid and I'm here for you. By validating his emotions, you create a space where he feels safe and understood, which can strengthen your bond and trust in the relationship. Another important aspect is showing empathy. Put yourself in your partner's shoes and try to understand his emotions from his point of view. Empathize with his experiences and express compassion and understanding. Avoid minimizing or dismissing his feelings, even if you don't agree with them. Remember, empathy is about recognizing and acknowledging his emotions regardless of whether they align with your own perspective. Furthermore, offer reassurance and support. Let your partner know that you are there for him and that you genuinely care about his well-being. Reassure him of your presence and willingness to listen and provide support whenever he needs it. It is crucial to offer practical solutions or suggestions if he is open to them, but make sure to avoid jumping straight into problem-solving mode without acknowledging his emotions first. By providing reassurance and support, you foster a sense of security and comfort in your relationship. By incorporating these techniques into your conversations, you can create a safe and supportive space for your partner to express himself and feel understood, valued, and respected. Remember, effective communication is an ongoing process that requires practice and patience, so don't be discouraged if it doesn't come naturally at first. With time, effort, and a genuine desire to improve your relationship, you can develop strong communication skills that will positively impact your connection with your partner. Question nine. Hey, soulful ambassador, can you provide examples of specific phrases or affirmations that resonate deeply with my man and help strengthen emotional connections? Yeah, absolutely. I've got some awesome examples of phrases and affirmations that can really hit home with men and help build those deeper emotional connections. Are you ready? Let's dive right in. One. So how about this one? I appreciate you for always being there for me and supporting me. It's all about showing gratitude for the support and presence he brings to your life. Letting him know that you recognize and value his support can go a long way in strengthening that emotional bond. Two, now here's a line that can really touch his heart. You inspire me with your strength and resilience. Men love being seen as strong and tough, so acknowledging and praising his resilience and inner strength can make him feel deeply appreciated. 
It's all about recognizing his inner power and letting him know how inspiring he is to you. Three, here's another one. I admire your dedication and hard work in everything you do. Men often take pride in their work, whether it's their career or any other passion they pour their heart and soul into. By acknowledging his dedication and hard work, you're showing him that you appreciate his effort and commitment. That can really strengthen your emotional connection. Four, this phrase is about making him feel safe and loved. You make me feel safe and loved, and I'm grateful for that. Security and love are core emotions that men value in a relationship. By letting him know that he makes you feel that way, you'll not only show your vulnerability, but also reinforce the emotional bond between you two. Five, now here's a line that appreciates his unique perspective. Your perspective on things always brings a new light to the situation. Men love being recognized for their insights and unique point of view. By acknowledging the value he brings to the table, you're creating a deeper connection by appreciating his perspective. Six, trust is a vital component in any relationship. So try this one. I trust you and value your opinions. By expressing your trust in him, you're deepening the emotional connection you share. This phrase lets him know that you have faith in his judgment and that his opinions matter to you. Seven, one of the best ways to nurture a deep emotional bond is through active listening. So how about this? Thank you for listening to me and understanding me. By showing appreciation for his attentiveness and understanding, you're making him feel valued and respected. It's all about acknowledging the importance of his presence in your life. D8. Kindness and compassion are qualities that many men take pride in. So you could say something like, your kindness and compassion towards others make me admire you even more. By recognizing and praising his empathetic nature, you're not only making him feel good about himself, but also strengthening the emotional connection between you two. Nine. Here's one that focuses on creating happy memories together. I feel happiest when I'm with you, sharing moments and creating memories. Men love knowing that they bring joy and happiness to your life. By expressing how much joy he brings to your world, you're laying the groundwork for a stronger emotional bond. 10. Lastly, here's a beautiful affirmation. You make me want to be a better person, and I'm grateful to have you in my life. This phrase shows him the positive impact he has on you. By expressing your gratitude for his presence and influence, you're fostering a strong emotional bond built on personal growth and mutual appreciation. So there you have it, my friend. These phrases and affirmations convey appreciation, admiration, trust, and love. They're all ingredients that can help strengthen emotional connections with men. Remember, sincerity and authenticity are key here. Use them genuinely to express your feelings and deepen the bond you share with your man. Happy connecting. Question 10. Hey, Soulful Riley, how can I identify if I have unresolved inner child wounds? And what are some common signs or symptoms to look out for? Identifying unresolved inner child wounds can be a deeply personal journey. But don't worry, you're not alone on this path of self-discovery and healing. There are some common signs or symptoms that can help guide you in recognizing these wounds. So let's dive in. One thing to keep an eye out for is recurring patterns or themes in your life. Do you find yourself facing similar struggles in your relationships over and over again? Or maybe you often grapple with self-esteem issues or have difficulty expressing your emotions fully. These could be indicators of unresolved inner child wounds. Another clue to look for is any lingering feelings of fear, shame, or inadequacy that seem to stem from past experiences. Sometimes we carry these emotions with us without even realizing it. They can surface in various situations and hold us back from reaching our full potential. So pay attention to these emotions and how they show up in your day-to-day -day interactions. Do you ever find yourself having intense emotional reactions to certain situations that seem way out of proportion to the present moment? This could be a result of your inner child wounds being triggered. It's worth reflecting on why these situations evoke such strong emotions and whether there might be underlying unresolved issues from your past. Taking a trip down memory lane can also provide valuable insights. Reflect on your childhood memories and how they continue to influence your thoughts, behaviors, and beliefs. Our early experiences shape who we become, and sometimes those experiences can leave a lasting impact. By exploring these memories, you may uncover patterns or beliefs that have been unknowingly guiding your life. Remember, it's perfectly okay to seek support during this process. Reach out to trusted friends, 
therapists, or healers who can offer guidance and a fresh perspective. Sometimes an objective listener can help you gain new insights or provide tools to help you heal these wounds. As you embark on this journey of self-discovery and healing, it's important to approach it with compassion and patience. Healing takes time, and it's not always a linear process. Be gentle with yourself and celebrate every small step forward. By acknowledging and addressing your inner child wounds, you're taking an empowering step toward personal growth and creating a healthier, more fulfilling life. So remember, you're not alone in this. Many people are on a similar path, striving to heal their inner child wounds and find greater peace within themselves. You have the power to transform and heal, and with the right support and self-reflection, you can navigate this journey successfully. Keep that spirit of curiosity and openness alive as you continue exploring and uncovering your inner child wounds. Approach it as a conversation with yourself, a way to understand and nurture the parts of you that may have been neglected or hurt in the past. By doing so, you'll be well on your way to a more soulfully embodied and fulfilling life. Embrace this opportunity to connect with your inner child, understand their pain, and offer them the love and healing they deserve. Remember, you have all the strength and resilience within you to heal those wounds and create a future filled with self-love and self-compassion. So take these insights and go forth on your journey of healing. Trust in yourself, trust in the process, and know that you are capable of transforming your life. You have everything you need within you. Hey there, Soulful Ambassadors. Can you believe it? We've reached the end of yet another glorious episode. Time flies when you're having fun, right? And boy, oh boy, did I have a blast engaging with all of you. You guys truly rock. Before we bid adieu, I wanted to remind you where you can get your hands on the delightful Safaria flavors. Easter recipes all the way from Kenya. Drum roll, please. You can find the link to purchase this mouth-watering collection on our Instagram handle at heartbeat underscore chronicles and underscore soulful underscore Riley. Trust me, these recipes will transport your taste buds on a wild adventure. Now let's talk about Easter festivities, shall we? In the spirit of this joyous occasion, I have a special treat for all you soulful ambassadors out there. Brace yourselves. A 25% discount on Beducated Intimacy courses is coming your way. Yes, you heard that right. Cue happy dance. If you missed out on this sweet offer during Valentine's week, fret not, I've got you covered. Just use the coupon code HEARTBEAT and prepare to be beducated. Exciting, huh? The link to claim your discount can be found on our Instagram handle at heartbeat underscore chronicles and underscore soulful underscore Riley. Oh, and for those watching us on Rumble or YouTube, simply head to the description box for the link. It's a breeze. Now let's give a big round of applause to all our incredible soulful ambassadors who never fail to make our day brighter. Your likes, comments, and engagement mean the world to us. We appreciate each and every one of you. And to those watching or listening, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. You're the real MVPs. Before we part ways, I've got a little request for all you lovely souls. If you enjoyed this video, and I know you did, why not show us some love? Subscribe, like, and don't forget to hit that notification button. Trust me, you won't want to miss out on our next exciting episode teaser. Want a hint? It's all about what women crave to hear. You won't want to miss it, folks. Remember, you can always follow us on our social media accounts at heartbeat underscore chronicles and yours truly at underscore soulful underscore Riley. Oh, and don't forget to share our amazing content with your friends, family, love interests, and anyone you think might need a dose of our soulful goodness. Spread the love, people. And hey, hit them up with a reminder that our Instagram bio holds all the precious links to our other socials. They'll thank you for it later. All right, my dear soulful ambassadors, it's time to bid adieu for now. But fear not, we'll be back with more laughter, fun, and soulful conversations before you know it. Until then, stay amazing, keep shining, and remember to always add a dash of soul to everything you do. Catch you on the flip side. In today's episode, we had an engaging discussion about the importance of open communication in relationships. We talked about how communication is the foundation of any successful partnership and how it's crucial to express our feelings and thoughts in order to maintain a strong bond with our partner. By allowing ourselves to be vulnerable and sharing our needs and desires, we create a safe space where both partners can feel heard and understood. 
Another topic we explored in this episode was the power of creating a vision board. We discussed how vision boards can be a helpful tool in manifesting our goals and aspirations. By visualizing our dreams and ambitions, we can set a clear intention for what we want to achieve. Whether it's a career milestone, personal growth, or even a fulfilling relationship, a vision board serves as a constant reminder of our desires and motivates us to take the necessary steps towards fulfilling them. Living alone in the digital age brings its own set of challenges, and we touched upon this topic as well. We discussed the importance of self-care for solo living, emphasizing the need to prioritize our mental, emotional, and physical well-being. Taking time for ourselves, practicing self-reflection, and engaging in activities that bring us joy can help combat the feelings of loneliness and isolation that may arise when living alone. In our pursuit of building a supportive online network, we shared some valuable tips. We delved into the importance of connecting with like-minded individuals who can provide encouragement, guidance, and a sense of community. Building an online support system can help us navigate through life's challenges and share our triumphs with people who genuinely understand and support us. The art of distinguishing genuine compliments from flattery was another intriguing topic we covered. We emphasized the importance of sincerity, authenticity, and trust in navigating this tricky terrain. We discussed how to recognize the true intentions behind compliments and how to effectively respond to them. By understanding the difference between genuine compliments and empty flattery, we can build deeper and more meaningful connections with others. Active listening and validation were two key concepts we explored in relation to enhancing relationships. We provided tips for practicing attentive listening, which involves fully engaging with our partner's words, thoughts, and emotions. Reflecting on feelings, validating emotions, showing empathy, and offering reassurance and support were all highlighted as essential components of active listening. By truly listening and validating our partner's experiences, we can strengthen our connection and foster an environment of trust and understanding. Deepening emotional connection with men was also a topic we devoted time to. We explored the power of using phrases of appreciation, inspiration, admiration, and trust to nurture stronger emotional bonds. By expressing our love and admiration for the men in our lives, we create an atmosphere of appreciation and understanding that can deepen our emotional connection. To wrap up the episode, we talked about the important task of identifying unresolved inner child wounds. We discussed how recognizing recurring patterns in relationships and emotions can help us better understand ourselves. Seeking support in self-discovery and healing was encouraged, as it can provide valuable insights and aid in personal growth. Don't forget to hit that notification button so you won't miss any future episodes of Heartbeat Chronicles. We'll continue to bring you engaging discussions on relationships, personal growth, and everything in between. Thanks for joining us today. And until next time, take care.